Hi guys, welcome to Mystery Angels. Now, in H's um, interview with the interview room, he said that he never saw Summer, he never saw Summer with a haircut. What if I told you I had a picture and it was definitely H in the background with Summer's haircut? Now it's taken me a bit of time and talk to a few people to figure out who this is in the background. And according to H, he's also said very clearly that he hasn't seen Candice for a year since the argument. He's have all seen these photographs before, but I don't think people have noticed. So are you ready? Are you sitting down? Okay. There's H. There's Summer. With the same picture of the abuse and, and the... See it? The hand all swollen and everything. Right? Can you see the hand all swollen? With burns on them. Here is H. Ta-da! This is H. Now he was adamant he didn't realise they cut some his hair, right? There's some his hair. There's H. Now I looked at all the brother's pictures to make sure that wasn't her eldest brother. It wasn't. It was definitely H. By the hands, the feet, the stomach and the scarring. The scarring right there. Can you see that? This is H. That's Summer. Now, H said very clearly in his interview that he didn't notice that Summer, Summer had a hair cut. There's H. I had to check her older brother against H. H is a lot bigger than an older brother. He's a... Um, He's got bigger feet, he's bigger in bulk in, in the chest part, but and his stomach in that. That's H. See, I thought that was her older brother. But I was looking at pictures. I was looking at pictures of her older brother. Mm. And fortunately, he hasn't got the same body when they were doing jumping and stuff. Now, H said very clearly that he didn't um, notice that Summer had a haircut. So, here's a picture of when it was taken. Right? Is is a picture when it was taken, when that picture was taken, was when um, the boys, right, the boys went with the neighbour out. She was upset that she couldn't go with him and they took the photo. So, this is a picture of her three brothers, why I know that's he. So, there's the older brother, can you see? Different colour skin, different arms, different... This was taken the same day. So, H was up playing with Summer 
because the boys have been taken out by the neighbour for a uh, crazy golf. So why would H, a 15-year-old who has no beef with Candice, say something like that? Who told him? What, what is happening here? See, them shorts H wore on the day he did the interview as well. He seems to like them shorts. He seems to have a lot of them shorts. But to have a 15-year-old lie, which he's just been called out as a liar because... He said very clearly, I didn't even know that they shaved some his hair. Well, dude, that's funny that because you're in a picture and just because it hides your face, the rest of your body, you can't hide it. It's you. Deny it all you like. It's easily enough proven. Um, there's their three brothers. And none of them have got the same dark skin like you have. None of them got dark hair like you have. None of them are as big as you are. And they don't wear, and you shouldn't wear the same shorts, interviews. You know? So, that's H. Right? So, why would a 15-year-old... Knowing um, a guy was coming to interview you that was a very good detective, why would you put yourself in a position to lie? Guys, comment down below what you think. What is it that's causing H to say many truths and many lies? Because he hasn't got a beef with Candice, his mum has. He's innocent, so he has no reason to lie. Right? If you're innocent, why would you lie? Now, the truth sometimes can look like you're guilty, but... Lying, there's always the truth behind the lie and you'll always be found out, right? He made it very clear. Very, very clear that he did not see Summer when Summer had her head shaved. He was very clear on that, guys. Very clear. So if that's true, then why was he in the photograph? Why was he up seeing Summer while her brothers were out playing crazy golf? Look on the timeline of the pictures. And if Candice was taking the, the photograph, who was taking the photograph of Summer and H? Must have been the grandma, right? Well, if you know, come forward and tell me who took the photograph of the boys. Was it Candice or Candy's mum? And who took the photograph of Summer and H? But there's your answer. H did know Summer had a haircut because he was there. And I think the reason why H went round Candy's house is because... The children don't have many boundaries, so he could shoot round there. He could drive um, the motorbikes. 
um, he could, he's got that freedom to do that, right? Whereas where he lives, he hasn't got that freedom. His mum's always working or asleep. His siblings are always doing other stuff. But he said, I ain't seen Summer or Candies for a year. But that's not true. The photograph proves it, mate, it's you. But I want to know why you would lie. There's no need for it. But now you've just made it worse. Now what you've done is just made it worse for yourself. Because here's the thing now. Once this goes out, yes, there's going to be a lot of people saying, no, nah, it might not be age. It is age. Right? It's a thousand percent age. You tell by the colour skin, the body type, his hands. If you look at the hands on his um the hands on his interview and then look at his hands on the gun. It's definitely H. You've just seen her brothers. Her brothers are all pale. Uh, very white skinned, white hair on their bodies, not dark. H is dark here. Look at the interview. Look at the size of his body and then look at the body size behind Summer. Sorry, but that's definitely H. So the, the question is, why would H, who has ADHD, think he can get away with lying like that when Candice and Candice mum does loads of photographs? Maybe that's why Candice was so cocky and said, H has got it all wrong, I'm afraid. Because she knew full well that H was there and maybe Candice was protecting him because maybe H wasn't spending time with his girlfriend like he was saying. Maybe because his, he knew his mum was arguing when his mum went to work. Or his mum went to... I don't know. So, here's my theory. H has always been still going up and seeing the kids and seeing and Candy and that. Why his mum was at work or his mum was asleep. And saying that he's going to visit his girlfriend and that. Right? He could have visited his girlfriend as well, but popped to Candy. That'll explain why Candy, uh, Candice, sorry, emailed H and said your grand, uh, grandmother's in hospital. Candice would have said, my mum's in hospital because she's always say it. She said to the kids, why would she say to H, grandma, and then say to the boys, mum? Here's an example. On Candice's interview with Chris, the interview room, she said, I went in and told the boys, I'm just going to fix the brace on mum's leg. Keep an eye on Summer. That was her exact words, quote and unquote. But she said that she text H, quote, I text H to tell him Grandma was in hospital, unquote. Doesn't make sense. She tells the boys, I'm going to fix me mum's leg brace. I'll be a few minutes, look after summer. But she tells H... Grandma's in hospital. H says he hasn't seen her for a year and looks at his mum. And he, he says, yeah, about that, since the argument. But yet there's a pic, and he said, two weeks before that picture was taken... Um, Candice and Candice were seen spending $60 in getting 
um, some had dresses and hair bands and stuff and some had long hair. And there was a picture taken of Summer with long hair. Right? Right. But H was adamant. So who they're trying to pull the, the wool of the eyes over here? The interview room? Chris, the interviewer? Or has H actually been hanging around with Candice? And did that's why he kept H said, Oh, he, he phoned her all the time every two hours. Don phones her every two hours. How would you know that, mate? You never went with them for a year. Unless you were there during the day when your mum was asleep or working and you were saying you were at your girlfriend, you were actually up at Candy's. And then that'll explain, that'll be the jigsaw puzzle to explain why Candy's would ring him up and say grandma's in hospital, right? But what it wouldn't explain is how is grandma to H, that isn't his real grandma, and yet, the boys, it's her mum. Look at the interview yourself. You want evidence, look at the interview yourself. It's very clear. She says, I told the boys, I'm going to do my mum's brace, leg brace, look after summer, I'll be back. She said, oh, I text H and said grandma was in hospital. H said, I got a text by Candice saying Grandma was in hospital. They they all agree on that. And H said, I didn't even know Summer had a haircut. Obviously, because if it was a year later, she would have long hair again, right? Because the hair grows quick on the kids. So he turned around and said, I didn't even know someone had a haircut. <clears throat> now, remember in the interview, when we fit that the, it was out within minutes of the interview, I put a thing out saying, when he gets nervous or H lies, he will yawn. When he's a bit confused about something he's supposed to say, he will tap. Because that's what I do because of my um, ADHD. I get anxious, I start to tap the table. If I get, um, like, nervous, I can't help it. It's like a thing that happens. It just comes over you and you want to yawn. I don't yawn when I'm tired. I've never yawned when I'm tired, but I yawn quite a lot when I'm nervous or someone's asking me a question and don't want to answer. And I can't help it. It's like an overwhelming thing that happens to me. So... You're bang to rights there, guys. So it can be one of two things now, okay? Either H has been going up there all this time and he hasn't got a girlfriend. And he's been lying to his mum. Or he has got a girlfriend and he's been hanging out with Candice. And Candice up in, Candice being Candice's mum. Up at their place, and that explains a lot. Now it starts to fit because everyone was asking why would Candy Candace phone H after they're not seeing each other for a year? Well, you wouldn't. Why would you say, Boys, I'm going to do my mum's leg brace, look after, and then say, Oh, by the way, um, me and Summer are at the hospital because Grandma's gone in because um, her leg hurts. I think the police should look at this. I hope that they have. It's a thousand percent H. H is dark-haired. 
is dark skinned. The boys are white. I mean, whiter than white, no tan. Her brothers are smaller and a lot younger than H. That is H. And look at his hands. There's certain markings on his hands that is on the same as the markings when he was tapping the table and he picked up the phone. And he was wearing the same shorts. I think they look like Walmart shorts anyway, but yeah. So why would he lie? And the only thing I can think of is because he's scared that his mum's going to find out that he was going up to see her. Now, he might have a girlfriend or he might have a, a, a friend who's a girl who doesn't want her parents to know she's gay or whatever. So they've done an agreement. Say that I'm with you as my girlfriend and I'll say I'm your boyfriend. Things happen like that all the time. I'm just saying. All I know is fact. H was up there. Fact. H said that he didn't see him for a year. Fact. He said he didn't know Summer had a head shaved. Fact. He's standing behind Summer with a head shaved and the puppy. Facts. H, if you listen to this, listen, boy, I would call Chris back and have another interview and come out with everything. Because if you don't, these these people, whoever's done it, it's going to go on you. The more lies you tell, you're not very smart to tell lies. You're 15 years old. You have, you know, ADHD. You're you're very compulsive at the minute being 15. Just go call him and tell the truth. Seriously, if you're listening to me, tell the truth. Because any little lie you say sounds more complicated than the big lies. Because when we tell things, um, we tell it in such a way that people don't understand us. As it is. But people are now saying, hold on a minute, why would Candy's text you? But Candy's called, told the boys that she's going to get her mum's leg brace, but she called a grandma to... Why would she depend on H? She, he's a 15-year-old boy. Do you see what I'm saying? It does nothing, nothing made sense until I saw that picture. So what I was doing was I was looking at the picture, I was analysing it. I was analysing the boys, how thin they were. And then when I was looking how thin the boys were in, that, in, the, in some pictures and how white their skin was and if there was any scars on them, I realised that the person in the back with the gun, I went, hold on a minute, I've seen that body before. I've seen that, that hand before. So then I went on to H interview and looked carefully and I slowed it down and I put it up. You can do the same. You've got the same equipment as I have, do it. Take a check. It's H. And it's definitely summer with a shaved head. Call bang to rights, mate. You need to, to call the interview room, call Chris and explain. And and just just come out with the truth now. Tell the whole truth so it makes sense. The more and more you complicate things, look, you're ADHD, you're 15, you're compulsive, you're already confusing people. Without you knowing it, you could be an accessory, you could be someone who uh, you could say something or do something that could have knocked off the whole of the investigation and they blame you for being um like withholding information stuff like that and that carries a sentence mate you're 15 why would you put yourself in prison you're 15 call chris if you're watching this call chris and tell him the truth 
You can't deny it. It's you. Tell him the truth. It's best if you just come out with everything. It really is. Because the truth will set you free. The truth will make sense. And then the truth will be like, aha. See, your mum has a beef with Candace. Candace has a beef with your mum. But you're in the middle of it. And I get it. You wanted to sneak up to see Summer and the boys because you felt like part of that family. I get it. I have lots of adopted and foster um, brothers and sisters that I've adopted along the way. But now one of them's missing. My advice to you would be, no matter what, these people aren't going to be in your life all the time. This record will be. So my advice to you is, tell the truth. Come out with it. Why Why did you say you didn't see Summer? Why did... I mean, we all know that you probably kept it quiet and you went up there and sat with them and that was because um, Don was angry at Candice because of this Mexican guy. Your mum was angry with Candice because of this Mexican guy. But you didn't see why you should be punished and Summer and the boys be punished and be kept separate when you didn't do nothing wrong. Then say that. Come out with it. Because if you don't, the truth's going to come out, mate. I'm telling you now. I'm talking to you. Mate to mate, I'm telling you. The truth's going to come out. The, there's FBI on this, mate. There's everything. They're, they're going to find the truth. Whether they find someone or not is not the point. The point is they're going to find the truth. Someone is going to give in and tell all. And if it's not you, and it's someone else, they can put you in it, lie about you, but tell the truth about everything else, and it would fit. Now, if Candice has already put out one picture of you, Behind Summer, that's already shown a lie. How many pictures has, has Candice got? That actually you were there when you weren't supposed to be. And if you keep lying or listening to your mum and your mum telling you what to say and you upset Candice, she might release it. The second thing you lie to is that you said you don't do TikToks. But Candy says, I've got loads on my phone that says I do do TikToks. And I get it. To you, it might it might only be a small lie. But if you saying something could change the course of the way the police think, feel or see, or, or the way they look for somewhere, you could be in serious trouble. Not your mum, not Candice, you. And a 50-year-old boy with ADHD stuck in a juvenile detention centre is not a good idea. You might think you're a gangster and like, like like that, but trust me when I say, if you go in there, I have been in Borstal. You, you will not survive in Borstal, mate. You wouldn't. Tell the truth. At the minute, everyone's saying they're not interested in your TikTok videos. At the minute, they're saying, oh, we didn't see Summer for a year, so why would Candice phone up? At the minute, Candice is turning around saying to her boys, I'm going to put my mum's brace on. Mum's brace on. So, I, But yet she calls H and calls her grandma to H. So... Yeah. I think that's why Candice has been cocky because she knows she's she knows H won't say too much because H has lied now. H has said he's not been up there and Candice probably said, What you think that's bad? He's been coming up, smoking, taking drugs. Another thing on Candy's statement says I'm a bit worried because the reason why we think that she's been taken is because there's loads of drug addicts come up here, up and down here all night. You're a drug addict. 
regardless whether it's prescription um, tablets or, you know, weed or edibles, you're a drug addict. It's, you're just, you can't call drug addicts smackheads or drug addicts if you're taking drugs yourself. You're probably buying them off them. That's why they're coming up and down. So what are you saying? The drug, the drugs that you're buying could be one of them that took your child. Is that what you're saying? Is that why you're so confident? How can you take drugs and pills and stuff and have a drug dealer and turn around and say, yeah, we have drug addicts coming up and down here and, and doing drugs in there and stuff. Of that. How can you say that when you're part of that? It makes no sense. You're judging other people for their um, addiction when you're, you're the other people. It's like almost like Candice and Donald are like Don and that are, are, they're not part of that that group they, they, they drink but they're not alcoholics and they don't act like alcoholics um, he beats his wife up but he's not a wife beater um, they take drugs but they're not drug addicts you, you can't judge people for their addiction when you're addicted to the same drug. You're saying that you haven't got the same behaviours as them people when you, you clearly do because you live like that. Go, you know, wash, wash your brain out. Take a couple of days off taking all that medications and all the stuff you've got. Take a couple of days off and chill and, and figure things out. The reason why the world's confused is because there's a truth, lie, 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 truth. So it looks real, but it's not. It's sandwiched. The, the truth is at the top and bottom, and then the sandwich lies in between. That's what's going on. So, yes, they did have the arguments, and they're not talking to each other. And the end result was that Cand Candice and his mum didn't see each other for a year there's the truth but then you've got the layers of sandwich in between which is h going up and seeing them behind his mum's back um saying that he didn't see that summer had her head shaved when he was clearly behind her check it out yourselves Check out um, the boys in that picture when they went crazy. Go look at the boys, look at the arms, look at them and then look at H. It's H. So the reason why it's confusing is because truth, lie, 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 truth. And then they sandwich it and try and squash the lies between the truth. That's what's complicated. That's why I feel sorry for the police because they have to... So we'll separate the sandwich, take all the lies out and then put the sandwich together to see how much is left. Cheers. Do me a favour, guys. Comment down below. It's definitely H. Go check it out yourselves. You've seen the pictures. They're easy to find. Let me know on the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. If you're hating and you're watching this, please go and tell the truth. Please. Tell the truth to Chris, please. Because if you don't, you're going to be stuck. They're going to stick you with everything. Candice has already said you were lying about the TikToks. And she said, I've got a load on my phone. I can show you a load on my phone of H doing TikToks. So what she's giving you there, H, is a hint. I hope you're watching this interview, mate, because I can tell them if you carry on lying about me, I'm going to I'm going to show them all the lies and discredit you. So anything you say now, nobody will believe. That's what she's going to do, mate. My suggestion to you is don't listen to your mum. Don't listen to anybody else. Tell the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth from the beginning, from scratch. 
before they do and put you under. Because people are already saying, they're starting to see that you're lying. The start, things are coming out that what you said isn't truthful. Mate, it's only going to be a number of time before Candice gets pushed into a corner and then thinks, right, I need to get the heat off me again. How do I do that? Boom. Show evidence about H. He was here. There's the picture. This is what he is. She gets desperate enough. You're a 15-year-old boy with ADHD and a whole life in front of you. Just think about that. Okay, guys. Love you loads. Share, subscribe. Um, if you like to be part of this channel, write down below what part you would like to be. How would you like to make this channel bigger? We're going to work together. We're going to own this channel together and work together and make this channel big. And we're going to make it as... There's going to be loads of channels out there looking. I get that. But we're going to be around the world and everyone and anyone's invited. Like I said, um, you've got freedom of speech here. The only thing is you can't do is disrespect anyone else's thoughts, processes and speeches. If you see I've got things incorrect or something like that, please correct me like many of you have. And thank you. I much appreciate it. Thank you for your patience with me being autistic with learning difficulties. Um, I know I can be frustrating with my words and the way I am and I apologise um, for doing that but I don't apologise for being autistic with learning difficulties. Sorry, I am who I am. So guys, stay safe, look after your families and I'll see you in a while, Crocodile, for the next video.